So guys, we're doing a lowering kit today on a fourth gen Dodge Ram 1500. Single cab, short bed, not too crazy. I'm running on stocks. It's got a nice uh, sound system that I did not too long ago. I'll show you guys that all later. But right now, I'm gonna get started on this. Probably gonna start on the rear, because it's probably the easiest. And then go ahead and get started on the front. Before we start here, this is the lowering kit. It's a Beltec lowering kit. So those are the front shocks, rear shocks. We got the front coil springs. We got the rear coil springs, rear sway bars, and the track bar bracket to drop yeah, the track the wheels bar. off. And I took the wheel well, the wheel wells off as well, so I could get to the shocks. But I got this thing ready for tomorrow. But yeah, I ran out of daylight out here. So we'll start tomorrow morning and see what's up. Morning guys, it's early in the morning on Sunday. Let's go ahead and get started on this thing. Like I said, hopefully it doesn't rain today. It feels like it's gonna... So guys, I got the rear all torn apart now. I got the cool springs and the shocks out on both sides. I'm, I got the differential just hanging right now. Um, this truck it is missing a sway bar, which is so weird because these trucks usually have it but let's go ahead and check out the parts but anyways <clears throat> here's the two new coil springs i'm putting on this is a used kit that they brought me as you can tell this spring is shorter than this one i think this one's going on the passenger side because of the fuel tank and then the taller one on the driver's side i'm pretty sure and then uh, i got the track bar here and i got the shocks so i got the rear of the truck done looks real good actually i'm loving it the more i get closer to the being done the more i like it but we're about to move on to the front get the front all leveled out with the rear then we'll go from there i'll see you guys in a bit so i got the front all situated now got the new lowering spring and the lowering shock on there everything is back together i'm about to put these wheels back together and see where this truck lands at Let's go ahead and see it. So I'm all cleaned up now. I got the truck all done. Honestly, I was a little bit worried about not being able to finish this lowering kit today, but everything went so smooth. Um, I'm pretty sure it's because I'm dropping the truck not lifting it uh, I know on these fourth gens when you're trying to put a leveling kit on it There are a pain or a lift kit on these two-wheel drives. They are a pain because of the spindle and The shock and the coil spring setup they have it's not like a regular coil over like a strut system on a four-wheel drive but anyways The trucks all done. It looks great. So let me show you guys 2-4 drop kit installed now I'm gonna give you guys a little quick tour on this truck because he also has a couple things done to it so let's go ahead and open the driver's door <clears throat> and we'll start with the head unit so for the sound system he's got a double din Sony head unit I believe this is the AX5000 if I'm not mistaken he's also got a uh, 4 channel JL amp on there um, like I said he's got a JL audio system in this thing he's got jl six by nines in the rear jl six and a halfs up front with the jl uh four channel amp powering those mids and highs and then two jl subwoofers which is only the the eight in the eight inch ones i also did a quarter intake on this not too long ago so that's the cold air intake right on the hood <clears throat> obviously no crazy mods on this thing yet not yet but i do know the owner for this truck has a lot of plans for this thing so that's the truck right there there's two inches in the front four inches in the back you know the truck looks absolutely amazing it looks great honestly just got back from the test drive on the ram honestly it rides good and it looks good so this thing is said and done 
Let's go ahead and call my buddy Tom to come pick up his truck. So I'm gonna wrap that up today. Uh, the lowering kit done on the truck. Anyways, that truck rode great. Honestly, I'm very happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and call my buddy. Tell him to come pick it up. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.